Flyers game. Remember Mike Richter, 12th start. He's 1-0-0 against the Flyers. And he was just a little boy when Pete Peters was here earlier in his career playing for the Flyers. Pete came in in relief of Ken Reggett against the Penguins the other night. Shot 10 shots in 38 minutes, looked very sharp. So Paul Holmgren has given him the tap on the shoulder. Go out and stop some pucks. Wonder what Nyland and Berube are talking about. They were conversing there. They are the closest pair to you as this faceoff takes place. Millette is on the other side next to Mellonby. Sutter and Nichols are the centermen. Chikrin and Karkner, Rochefort and Moeller for the Rangers. And off this opening faceoff, it is Terry Karkner to control. Slides it back across to Chikrin. Then out it comes for Mellonby, given a good stiff hit that time by Millette. Across now to Karkner. He's run into by Nyland. And Nyland and Karkner, 14 seconds in. Wow. Chris Nyland tried to get in tight. Terry Karkner was trying to take him apart with a short jab. And then Nyland came back, pushed away, threw one that looked like it caught Karkner. But Chris Nyland is been fighting an uphill battle since these two guys dropped their gloves. Partner just won't let him up. See Terry Carter's elbow pad? That held him back the last 30 seconds of that fight. He was trying to throw punches and the elbow pad was stuck in the wrist part of his jersey over his hand. He was just trying to shake it off. So it wasn't Berube and Nylon after all. It was Terry Carter and Chris Nylon that started it right away. Boy, that was a tough, hard kind of fight, too. They were going up against yeah. the boards and glass. And that, that shows you how strong Chris Nylon is, Mike. Well, look at Carter's jersey. It's ripped in the back. It's torn off the shoulder pads. But here's where they started. And one thing that Terry Carter does really well throws with both hands. It doesn't really matter which one you tie up, you're going to get it with the other one. But Chris Nylon, I think, did a great job of trying to stay in tight until he could figure out what he wanted to do. And you know what he did? He ended up maneuvering the whole fight over to the boards to try and get Carter up against the boards, and that's exactly what he did. Nylon has been around, carter has been around. This is a big battle. A number of players not in uniform for both teams tonight, the New York Rangers, are resting Jan Eriksson so he can shadow Mario Lemieux tomorrow night. Same with Greshner, they're resting him. Horshev is a scratch. The only injury is Shaw. For the Flyers, a healthy Ken Lindsman. Once again, scratch. Ken Reggett a scratch. Mike Bullard had the flu yesterday. He is out of the lineup. Mark Howe is injured and out of the lineup. Terry Huffman, Norm Lacombe, Doug Sullivan, all scratches, all healthy. Nylon instigating, Chikrin elbowing. Both of them get fighting majors. Two teams at full strength, 14 seconds into the first period. Wells run into by Lindy Ruff, and they stare at one another. It's Rochefort behind. Dumping one off, and Chikrin steps into Millette, and the two of them go down. Chikrin glared back at Millette. Puck turned back out. Jeff Chikrin able to pivot and control and hand back over to Wells. Wells' pass comes up the wing to Scott Mellonby, who moves on. Eyed up by Rochefort. Mellonby tried to flip it through, and back up the wing comes Millette. Tries to finesse Thomas Sandstrom. Millette to the corner, and taken into the boards and glass. And Lindy Ruff worked over by Jay Wells. He goes down. Puck squirts along to Bernie Nichols. Nichols pestered from behind by Mellonby, and it's trickled around where Wells is hit. Not only from behind, but more solidly from the front by Lindy Ruff. Pass went away from Mellonby and back down. Shift change on now. Tony Horacek comes out along with Tockett and Eklund. In back it is Lottle and Shell Samuelson. And Tockett trips up. Mark Hardy, there'll be a penalty coming up. It'll be against the Flyers. And now Tockett shoving across the way with Mark Jansen. Tockett apparently will go to the box alone. Horacek has just been pulled off the back of Chris King, number 12 of the Rangers. And I don't know, Mike, I thought I saw Bill McCreary motion to Horacek that he was gone, out of here. And Horacek has, in fact, been sent out the door and up the chute to the Flyers' dressing room. 
pick it up. For fighting plus a game misconduct. Time, one minute, 16 seconds. Well, that means a wow. major penalty power play coming up to the Rangers, and Horacek gone for the night. So the biggest of the Flyer centermen is out. Chris Nyland was sitting in the penalty box, clapping his hands, cheering this call on. Here's the original penalty. Rick Tockett tripped up Mark Hardy, so the Flyers are down a couple of minutes for that one. Then Tony Horacek, when we were away, I didn't see it start, but when I picked it up, he had Chris King turned around and was pummeling him from behind. I don't know if they started face-to-face, -face, but Chris King never dropped his gloves, never dropped his stick. That's the big reason Horacek got the five, and Chris King got the nothing. So the Flyers have dug themselves a hole. Now, I was told before the game that Paul Holmgren delivered a rousing speech to the Flyers that really had them pumped up, maybe a little too much. Here is a power play differential panel that we put together to show you that the Flyers have had 50 fewer power plays than the opposition. The Rangers are number one with a power play differential of plus 45. They have had 45 more power plays than the opposition has had against them. That is amazing. And when you talk to people, there seems to be no logical reason or answer for those numbers. Rangers go on their 15th 5-on-3 of the year. They have four of the prior 14 that they've scored on. The Flyers have killed off eight of the previous 11 5-on-3s that they've had to deal with. And this includes a major penalty. So this will be a long stretch that the Flyers will have to kill off. Bill McCurry over having a word with Paul Holmgren about it right now. What a shame for Tony Horacek. He has been out of the lineup for some time, has hardly played uh, since the, the new year, and he was just a little too pumped up. I'm sure he wanted to help his team and do well, but the Flyers now are in a big hole early. Three on two brought in deliberately by the Rangers. It has worked over to Mullen. Mullen to the back to Leach. Leach then to Mullen again. Flyers in the triangle. Rangers work the outside. Shot is off Pete Peters. It came from Nichols. Now Kissio along. The Rangers have had at least a power play goal in each of their last 11 games. That's best in the league in terms of consistency. Shot by Nichols, save made by Peters. Rebound scooped wide by Ogrodny. Nichols is there to have it again. At the front now is Mullen as he works the outside over to Kelly Kissio, the Rangers captain. Ogrodny moves to the hash marks as it's still on the outside to Leach. Leach finesses it over and Mullen drills it right through the crease trying to connect with Kissio. Now it's Nichols once more. Drifts in, Ogrodnik directing traffic. It comes to him. Tried to flip one for Kissio. Punched away by Sutter. Controlled by Nichols once more. Ogrodnik takes his place. This time wedged off. Drive hit the outside of the net by Mullen. Then around the boards and Brian Mullen able to leave it there for Leach. Leach walks in. Shoots one that's tipped wide by Kissio. Nichols there. Works it to the back to Mullen again. Mullen tries to pull away from Sutter. Brian Mullen to the back to Leach. Two men at the front. Mullen shoots one that goes wide. Nichols around to get it. 35 seconds to go on the first penalty. Hawk dealt off to Ogrodnik. Back to Nichols again. Gives back to Leach. Moves in and fires. It goes wide. Nichols again with it. Play has been solid right in the zone the entire time. Nichols checks the scoreboard. 20 seconds on the first minor. Back now it comes for Leach. Fired. Pat stop made by Peters. And the rebound clears. This has been a great kill for the Flyers. They've only got three men out there, but they have moved. They have adjusted, and they have chased and forced when they've had to, but they haven't done it in, a, in an erratic fashion. They have read every play perfectly, and the Rangers, to me, haven't moved the puck quickly enough to break up the triangle. It is now a four-man defensive box that the Flyers will set up in. If the Rangers keep in talk, it nearly was able to start ahead with it. Now Leach, right back across. It is tapped loose by Tockett and out. And the crowd that two days ago was very quiet here all the night long is into this one big time with thundering ovation. Two and a half minutes to go on the major penalty power play. Here is Kerry Wilson. To the back it comes to Leach. Leach shovels off. Shot by Turcotte. Rolled up Peters, but he was able to grab it. Now Murphy and Turcotte jostling. Chikrin shoving with Wilson. I wondered who that was that had Jeff Chikrin collared from behind. 
A good save by Pete Peters. He has hardly had to make any saves in the first couple of minutes of this power play, even on the five on three. There was one shot by Bernie Nichols from the side that he that he took up high. But Pete Peters has just basically stood his ground there. Went down low to protect because he lost sight of the puck, had it roll right up him. Good penalty killing to start this game by the Flyers, and needless to say, that's a big hole. I mean, you know, if things don't go the Flyers' way, they could be out of this hockey game in the first three minutes of the tilt. And their confidence level when falling behind hasn't been that good. It's been tough enough when they've had leads to hang on to them. But they face the remaining two minutes and 24 seconds of the five on four major penalty power play. Sutter conversing with Keith Acton. In back, it'll be Samuelson and Wells. And up front, it is Turcott with Wilson on his left. Across on the right is Dolan. In the shooting hole is Nichols. And in back, it is Leach. Off the tie-up, puck scoop back to Brian Leach. He ended the last game between these two teams in overtime with a point shot off a face-off. That one was smothered uh, as it went off of Turcotte's stick. Picked up by Dolan, shoveled off to Turcotte again. Turcotte hammers one, getting the stick on it with Peters. Behind the net, Dolan has the pass broken down by Samuelson, but cleared near Nichols. Nichols along to Wilson, watched by Samuelson again. Gary Wilson just holding at the front. Is Dolan pass came across to Leach. Leach denied momentarily by Wells and forced back. Leach's shot. That went off the glass. Hit the back of the goal. Wilson there, but the net dislodged. And the clock picks down to a minute 46 to go. The Rangers had four shots in the first two minutes of the power play, and they've had two shots in the minute and 14 that have gone since then. So all six of their shots in the game have come on man advantage situations and the Flyers are shotless through the first four and a half minutes of this opening period. Off the face off, Sutter able to chop it to the boards and then roll it back down. And so the Rangers will regroup and the Flyers make a change, bringing out Derek Smith to work with Eklund, Wells and Samuelson in back. John O'Grodnick is out on the power play. That pass went underneath his stick and down on Peters. With a minute 25 to go, Peters nearly handcuffed Samuelson by gliding it through him, and along it came to Smith, who clears back down. Mark Hardy working along with James Patrick. Patrick in his first game back after having a broken pinky finger. Back up ice with it comes Hardy. Little pass ahead to O'Grodnick. Winds one for Patrick that is just shuffled back down the ice by Wells, and on the bounce, it is collared by Richter and rolled back around the boards. Here's Samuelson turning one to the front. Turned aside by Richter. Behind the net with it is Eklund. Has to contend with the checking of Hardy, but the Flyers have just done a masterful job of killing this off. Pete Peters has had to make six stops in that stretch, but the Rangers could have really opened fire had the Flyers not played them well. Bernie Nichols drops it back in. 42 seconds to go on the man advantage. Nearly some miscommunication, but Wells took it and lifted it back out. Boy, you talk about being in control since the Flyers killed off the five on three. This has looked like an even strength game, even though the Rangers have had the power play for three minutes. On with that is Wilson. Hands right back across. Turcott tries to get through. Wet got by Chitron, and Murphy clears it back down. Down to 15 seconds to go on five minutes worth of solid power play opportunity for the Rangers. Kerry Wilson brings it ahead. Rolled it away from Dolan. Went in to get it. Shoved off by Chitron, and Chitron tries to play along the boards. It popped over to Wilson. Flip one that's knocked away by Sinisella. Wilson out in front. Fed one away from Leach. Penalty time is up. Berube out of the box. On with it comes Keith Acton. Moves in with Berube and drops to him. Fires, and it's knocked down by Lindy Rouse. Controlled by the defense, deliberately held and rolled back off. And the fans here are standing, some of them, to salute the Flyers' penalty killers. Ryan Prop shoved off by Chris King. Now it's Lottle trickling one off of Acton. That'll be controlled by the defense of Randy Moeller. Then along to Jansen, drops it ahead for the carry by Paul Broughton. The younger brother of Neil and Aaron, Paul Broughton trying to roll one along, and King stood up soundly to the boards and glass by Samuelson. Just over 13 minutes to go, first period of play. Shots are 6-1, to one, the Rangers. We have no score. But a lot of entries in the score sheet. The penalty side of it, that is. Hawk pivoting with this now is Brian Propp. Does a second spinorama to get away from Jansen, then hands back over to Lottle. Lottle back up now for Kerr. This one ricocheted across from Jansen, then will be taken back by Moeller. Moeller across to Lindy Ruff. 
Back up the wing, it's brushed off of King, taken by Proppy, sandwiched by a couple of Rangers, and it's sent back where Samuelson retrieves and drops it back in. Twelve and a half to go in the first, and Prop steps in the way. Flips one back out, and down to the ice went Lindy Ruff as Prop was trying to get it to Kerr. Good keep by Murphy. Oh, he had Prop in front, but couldn't get it through, as denying him was Lindy Ruff. Kerr kept it in. Ricocheted one off Murphy. That'll be gathered in by Moeller. So now the Rangers having a little trouble getting out. The Flyers are making a shift change, and so there should be some room. Pass kicked away from Broughton, over the line and back in. And so a stoppage of play as Kerr having some words with Chris King. Early first period here at the Spectrum. No score. This is a great player right here. He's had a tough year in the plus minus department. He is minus 21. But Brian Leach is still a young star in the National Hockey League. The Flyers without Mark Howe. When you talk to anybody associated with the Rangers organization, they can relate by thinking about what it would be like for the Rangers to play long stretches without Brian Leach. And that's the truth. You no, know, the Rangers handled that trade pretty well. I thought they might have to part with the defenseman to get Nichols, but they didn't. Puck kept by Leach. Then along for Ogrodnik. Ogrodnik given a shove and a repeated one by Sutter. Ogrodnik chopped at by Chikrin. Leach, a turnaround shot that went wide. Well, checked to the corner boards by Kelly Kissio. Along it is Sutter. Punched it further for Keith Acton. Rochefort back, matched up with Leach. Quickly it's hurried across, but too far for Mullen. Then controlled by Mellenby. Fells it down with Kissio. Back up the wing, it's sent by Mellenby to Acton. Then over to Smith for a shot. That ricocheted off Rochefort, who is limping a bit. Meanwhile, a couple of players still locked up back at the other end of the ice. As you're watching Lottle, now a... Swing on Kelly Kissio by Smith. Box turned back on by Rochefort, but gotten by Axon and then handed over to Samuelson. Shell Samuelson pass off of Derek Smith's stick. Moeller goes in and Axon rides him right into the boards and glass. Puck behind now for Rochefort. There'll be a penalty coming up, and it's going to be against the Flyers and Keith Axon. On the delayed penalty call, Rochefort moves it back out with Nyland. Extra man out is Nichols. Peters touches, and now we'll get the call. Flyers are trying to get their forechecking game established here against the Rangers. And Keith Acton grabs Randy Moeller from behind and got himself a little piggyback ride. And then a slam, body slam to the ice. He also got himself a couple minutes for holding. So the Rangers once again on the power play. This is their third one in the season series. Four for 27, counting the earlier pair of power play opportunities. Flyers have been pretty good at killing them off lately. Puck turned back down the ice and way out of his net to get it is Richter, and then he wound up going right into Craven, who fell on top of him. Back on now come the Rangers, and it's Turcott. Turcott shoots one, tipped right in front by Dolan, but patted away by Peters, and cleared back down by Kirchner. Flyers with just one shot. The Rangers have nine. Controlling this is Bernie Nichols. Lays a pass out that'll be carried further by Turcott. Doubled off for Wilson, but way away from him. So Jay Wells goes over to play it. Gave it up to Nichols. Moves in. Cranks one. And that's blocked away by Samuelson. Turned along from Wilson on back to Patrick. James Patrick shovels it over to Dolan. Wolf Dolan pivoting. Looks back to Turcotte. No one at the front just yet. Shovels it off to Turcotte now. Then to the back to Patrick. Has trouble, but reflexes it on the backhand to Nichols for a shot that's blocked away by Peters. Behind now to Dolan. On the outside to Turcotte. Works to the back. Patrick a shot. That hit. Sutter picks up across to Nichols. He scores! Wilson to Nichols after the shot had glanced off Sutter. And the Rangers get a power play goal and lead in the game 1-0. Well, it took a crazy carom, but Bernie Nichols will sure take it. This is his seventh goal as a New York Ranger. Six have come on the power play. From that range, he doesn't miss too often. But watch what happens here. Turcotte moves it back to the point, and James Patrick tries, tries a, a one-time shot that hits the skate. It hit Ron Sutter's skate. It went right to Terry Wilson, number 17 of the Rangers. He found Nichols to the side. And Bingo, Bernie Nichols has scored to give the Rangers a 1-0 lead. Along with number three, James Patrick. Goal number 34 on the year for Nichols. 
Wilson and Patrick, the assist at 11.44. Chris Nyland spiked that one down, but coming by to get it is Tim Kerr. So the Flyers, emotionally charged for this game, now find themselves behind 1-0. Rangers with 10 shots, and by our count, at least eight have been on the power play. But they scored on this one, with Bernie Nichols putting them ahead 1-0 here, midway in the first period of our game. Puck sent away from Nyland and all the way back down. Jeff Chikrin will go back to get it and touch up for the icing. It was all set to set the lines for everybody earlier, but when Tony Horacek got thrown out of the game, Paul Hunt Holman has had to do some juggling already. Craven is out there now with Sinisalo and Pocket. We also saw Craven out there earlier. Lottle a shot, and Richter is saving a rebound by Craven, a backhander. Knocked down in front was a flyer. The backhander really went off of Rick Tockett. A penalty coming up to the Rangers, and so the Flyers will get a power play. And the call is hooking. Flyers on the power play are two for their last 30. But against the Rangers this year, they're 5 for 16. That's about a third. Off this face-off, it comes near Hardy. Chased off by Tockett. Craven slots to Murphy. Wide with the shot. Perhaps Richter got a piece of that one as it went flying by. It is Kissio. Crisply across to Mullen. Hammers one that is grabbed off by Peters and tended quickly over to Murphy. Murphy has Craven moving up the right and Lottle on the left. Also out on the power place to Nassalo and Tockett. Lottle ahead to Sinisalo wide with the shot. Boy, that was just where Ilka wanted it, too. Back to Lottle. Moves in. Flips one that is blocked down by James Patrick, and Patrick can move back out with it. Patrick and Kelly Kissio, and Patrick just watching him and then lays it back in. 45 seconds gone on the power play as Murphy starts it back out for the Flyers. Bernie Nichols is out on the penalty killing unit as a pass comes across two lines from Murphy, and so we'll have a face-off back in the Flyers' end. Well, we mentioned the Lions. Roger Nielsen tonight, as we mentioned earlier, has Kerry Wilson on the right side with Bernie Nichols and Troy Millett. He's got one line that he's relied on heavily this year that's still intact. Kelly Kissio at center, John O'Grodnick on the left side, and Brian Mullen on the right. And Roger Nielsen tried John O'Grodnick up on the left side with Bernie Nichols, and it didn't take long for John O'Grodnick to let it be known that he wanted to play with Kelly Kissio. So he moved him back with Kissio. Big, tough guy like Wayne Cashman, and he's got that little bobbing head thing on top there with the antenna. The headset dropped with a shot, and that one was deflected. Bounds around like one of those little pinwheel things that you have little kids wear. Here's a shot from the point. That one went all the way in on... The goaltender Richter from Murphy. Puck kicked around now by Lottle and then sent through Tim Curran back out. Power play down now to just 45 seconds as Murphy pivots back to play. Lays it on ahead to Pelly Eklund. Steps to the line along with Prop. Eklund passes back to Lottle. Lottle returns over for Tim Kerr. Kerr has Murphy nearby and hands to him. Crisply around it comes to Eklund. Looks for Kerr. Has him set but then he's well watched and so Eklund decides the better of it trying for Prop instead. It came along to Patrick, pinching his Lottle, trying to jab it away with Jansen. Puck to Eklund, can't get a quick shot. Then it's Lottle again, dumping for Kerr, pivots back behind. Kerr out in front, shot blocked off by the sprawling Richter. Then Lottle is shot, and Richter just recovered to get back and block that one away. Along the boards it comes to Lottle, two seconds to go and one, and out of the penalty box for the Rangers is Rochefort. Kerr tries to get to the front but can't. To the outside, Eklund. To Prop, couldn't get a shot away as Rochefort came right from the penalty box and checked it away. Turn back out and Lottle will have to play it with five minutes and 15 seconds to go in the first grade. A hit by Broughton, moving in is Nichols. Nichols a shot and Peters a save! Play is stopped with five minutes and 11 seconds to go in the first period as they tend to an injured player. Mike Richter hasn't had much work in this hockey game, but he has been sharp. The Flyers have only had six shots on goal, but watch some of this action right around them. Puck was centered out front. He got that one with the toe, right up the toe of his left pad. Right back for that one, too. It came from Lottle. 
So the Rangers set up for this faceoff after Peters had made the save on Nichols, who had been sent in by Broughton, and we have Millette and Carpenter spinning around. Well, they didn't get to this point the last time they got near one another. Remember, they ended up with unsportsmanlike conduct penalties. Not now. There'll be more. This kid, Millette, yeah, maybe he wants a piece of Jeff Chickren. Won't have to ask twice there. This is a 19-year-old kid, Troy Millette, that has not shied away from the heavy going. He only has three tallies on the season, but he has been a physical force for the Rangers. Fires penalty number 29, Terry Carpenter. Five minutes for fighting. Five, four, two, three, six, 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 With that straight right to the jaw, Millette picked up the extra two for right, instigation. Right, sure. last support that is picked up by Lottle and that sometimes they just have not gotten enough goals for it. Lottle with a pass back up the wing. Rick Tockett carries it ahead. Has her nearby. Tockett to the corner. Shovels one all the way back to Murphy. Hands over to Lottle. Cranks the shot that comes back to him off Jansen. Lottle to Murphy. Shovels to Kerr. That was too stiff. And it's dumped back off and down. Shift change on now. Broughton is up front trying to smoke Peters out to make a play, which he did. Along to Pelly Eklund. The other forward up front for the Rangers is Nichols. Eklund moves in. Lays it back across for Gord Murphy. Looks toward Lottle. Spins it to Kerr, but he couldn't take the pass. And Kerr gave it up then to Randy Moeller, who dumped one that went by Lottle and down. One minute and five seconds to go on the Flyers' second power play. Flyers are going to have to have great support on the puck on their power play. Who's ever carrying the puck in the zone has to have somebody near him at all times. Why? The Rangers are forcing all the time. Murphy shovels to the glass. It goes. Trot tried to one time bounce it to the net. Trot able to control. Back to the point. It comes to Murphy. Laid back over for Trot. Deals it off for the control of Craven. To the back to Murphy again. Shoveled one right into... A Turcotte, and then it dumped off for Nichols, who can start ahead. Lottle is back on defense as Nichols crosses and just goes for a skate with it. Nichols there, turning it back over to Turcotte, laid back to Murphy. Clock shows 25 seconds to go on this Flyers power play, and the Rangers have just been splendid in killing. Wells a shot, that one went wide. Across it came for Murphy. Wide up, though, by Turcotte. Puck picked up by Craven. Shovels one that's blocked right back, and Wells has to play at center ice. Down to the last eight seconds. So the penalty killing units have done a good job. The Rangers have their lone goal on the power play, but the Flyers had five straight minutes to kill off before that one. And some of the movers making their presence known here as penalty time is up, and back in now comes Ron Sutter. Sutter with a pass to Tockett. Tried to pull the trigger, but couldn't because of Patrick. Steps into him. Puck worked back onto John O'Grotnick. And O'Grotnick connects the cross for the carry by Mullen. Good hard drive off the pad of Pete Peters. Peters has played his angles well this period. Puck comes back on for the handle by James Patrick. Patrick just floats one that flopped back near Samuelson. Chopped along to Sutter. Dealt over to O'Grotnick and dropped back to Mark Hardy. Two and a half to go in the first period. Rangers with 13 shots. The Flyers with six. The Rangers had 10 of the first 11. Hawks drove back off for Lottle, but it got tangled up near the Flyers' bench and is retrieved by Moeller for Ruff. On the turning stick of Kelly Gizio, shovels to O'Grodnick. Moves in and scores! Big drive by O'Grodnick. Went into the net and popped right back out, and the Rangers lead this game 2 to nothing. You know, O'Grodnick was standing over by the boards right there on the bottom right of your screen, just waiting and waiting. He kind of became an invisible man, but when he got the puck, did he come alive? What a blast. In and out before Pete Peters could move. I still didn't see where that went in on him. O'Grodnick looking up the whole way. Never looked down at the puck. There aren't many guys that can do that, but if you can, you've got great accuracy when you finally let it go. And O'Grodnick put that baby right where he was shooting it. Kissio and Ruff get the assist on O'Grodnick's 32nd at 17.45. And Greg Berube goes after Randy Mulder. They exchange slots as Waddle plays over for Berube. They go to the corner again. And some rough housing along the corner boards. An extra shot by Berube, and there'll be a penalty coming up. Greg Berube's the guy who will get it. There'll be some extras here as Berube and Moeller go at it. 
There's no question Craig Berube was going to get the original. Be interesting to see if Bill McCreary evens this up because it looked like Moeller lunged at Berube once he got up. Boy, if Moeller uses his head there, he ends up getting his team another power play. That's to see. Chris Nyland is going off the ice, too. I don't know he was involved with anything, but it may have been just being at the bench and determining that an earlier collision that he had may have required some repair. So we're uncertain on him. Let's get the call. Two minutes for roughing. Fire penalty number 17, Craig Berube, double minor, four minutes for roughing. New York penalty number 30, Chris Nyland. Fire penalty number six, Jeff Chickren, each two minutes on sportsmanlike conduct. The penalty come at 18 minutes, seven seconds. So that was just some conversation occurring on the ice while you were watching the replay of the altercation. So it is, are going to be short. Yeah, they'll be short a man for two minutes. I'm surprised. Ron Sutter will be out for the shorthanded situation that the Flyers will face for the fourth time here in the game. Tockett will be up front with him, and the defensemen will be Samuelson and Jay Wells. So Kelly Kissio will be working on the power play. He'll have a Grodnick on the left and on the right Mullen. Nice little play ahead now. It came quickly to Leach. Watched by Wells. Leach just holds and looks things over. A back it comes for a shot that is blocked high and into the seats by Peters as it came steaming in. You know, the Flyers are at a real crucial time right now, their hockey season, obviously. I mean, if you look at the standings, but, you know, where they are in their division now, which is last, some of these guys have to be thinking, maybe this isn't an illusion. Maybe this is where we should be. And, and when you let that creep into your mind, even the tiniest bit, it can grow and it can mushroom. And then all of a sudden, you start doubting your ability to win hockey games. That's what the Flyers are up against right now. Should we be where we are, or has this been kind of a, an illusion that we've been trying to deal with for the last couple of months? So in essence, you're just questioning yourself and your team. Are we good enough? Exactly. I mean, for the longest time, you can say, look, there's just been a lot of things that haven't worked. The power play hasn't worked. We haven't had good timing. Maybe our goaltending hasn't been as good when we've been good in front of them. Whatever. Sooner or later, when you're at the bottom, you say to yourself, maybe we should be here, and then you got a problem. Puck rolled off now by Samuelson, then along the center. Here comes Rick Tockett. Tockett watched by Nichols. Tockett right in front, and a one-hander turned aside by Richter. Tockett barrels to the corner, but Kirio able to nudge it away from him, and here come the Rangers back on their power play. Up the wing, it was headed for Ogrodnik. Tockett checks off Kissio, swings around and connects with the stick, and that'll be a penalty to Kelly Kissio, and that'll take care of the power play. Well, in 57 seconds, we will be into the second period of play. The two teams will go four aside, and then the Flyers will not only have the rest of the intermission, as the Rangers will, will be penalty killing at the start of the second, but they'll have a long 3-0-3 power play, barring any further penalties. Oh, I agree with you. I thought I, I can see the notion of getting a team pumped up, and both of these teams seem to, seem to be emotionally there. But you can overextend that, and it's happened to both. Mullen flips one that came across now to Murphy. Murphy connects on to Brian Prop, has Lottel breaking ahead. Prop just carries along. Rich shot sticked away by Richter. It is Prop turning again. Back over for Murphy. Wanted to connect with Eklund but couldn't, and behind it goes to Patrick. James Patrick of the Rangers defense rolls it back up now to Mullen. Cut off though by Murphy in the last dozen seconds of the period. Gord Murphy had this one taken by Prop and laid over to Yuri Lotto. Able to step by Nichols. Lotto wanted to center but denied by Hardy. Tipped it along behind and a chance for Nichols to bring it back up as the horn sounds to end this first period of play. Shots turned out to be 15 to 8 for the Rangers. There were only a couple of goals, both from Rangers sticks. Of now the power play begins and Murphy floated one that went by the outstretched stick of Lottle and against the glass. Forced back down and Jansen strides back for it. 
but it is left for Murphy there, and Pete Peters just puts a little shoulder into Jansen. Back on now is Lotto with a pass that ricocheted over to Mark Hardy. Controlled by Prop. This is an important time in the game for the Flyers. They're down by two. They've got a long power play here. And as fragile as their confidence is, if the Rangers kill this off, it will have more of a devastating effect, I think, than it would had it occurred in the third period or even later in the game. Murphy with a pass on across now to Lottel. Lottel's pass is tipped back over near Murphy, but controlled by Brian Prop. Drops the pass over to Murphy. And then angled one that Patrick will be the first to get to. Lottel kept it back off of Tim Kerr. Kerr brushed it, but Jansen picked it up, and Jansen for the Rangers just rolls it back down and comes to the bench for a shift change. Lottle and Paul Broughton tie up as Peters is able to scoop this one around. Oh, and Broughton chased him right out in front of the net, but it's worked back up the wing, and on comes Pelly Eklund. Eklund eyed up, gives a pass to Tockett. Tockett spun one across the goal mouth wide. Down to a minute and 55 seconds to go now on the power play. Puck controlled by Kerr. Shot tipped away by Richter. Played back now by Eklund to Kerr, and a one-timer went off of Leach. Now it is rolled back by Tockett, taken by Lottel, looks over to Jay Wells. The handoff is to Wells, speeds to Tockett. Lottel moves in, but the pass came for Eklund, then to Tockett again. Notice Lottel was open, but had to deal it to Eklund because of the traffic, then Wells, then Lottel again. Across to Eklund, shot knocked down by Broughton, and Broughton wanting to get off, I think. He's been out there a long time. Now Tockett. Takes a look, flips one in front, and Lottel couldn't get a good shot. Now Lottel dropping it off, it's played by Leach as we're down to the last minute, 15 of a three-minute, three-second power play. Jay Wells banks one, that'll be taken by Eklund again. Pocket at the front of the net, it's worked to the back to Wells. Fires, hats up, made by Richter, and it's drilled back off the boards by Broughton, who will come to the bench now to finally get a shift change. Pete Peters just taps this one behind as the clock ticks down to 53 seconds to go on this power play. 17.40 to go in the second. Rangers ahead 2-0. Ahead comes Sinisalo. Lays it across for Rick Tockett. Tockett dumped it along for Sinisalo, but it came back near Terry Karkner fresh from the bench. Karkner moving along. Deals it back off to Sinisalo. Spins it for Karkner, but it's tipped loose by Mullen. Forced back along and sent toward Mullen by Hardy, but gathered in by Sinisalo again. Ilka Sinisalo's pass just went empty across and off the skates of... Bill McCreary, the referee, and so the Flyers have to go back again. 20 seconds to go, and Karkner left it behind, so he has to regather. The Rangers have once again made a change. On with this now comes Murray Craven with Sinisalo. The pass off Tockett. Sinisalo to Tockett, and he shot it wide. A good chance there on a bang-bang play. Back to Murphy. Across the Tockett. Score! Well, the Flyers' letter wind all the way down to two seconds to go on the power play before Rick Tockett let that one go. He didn't get all of it. I think he fanned on this one, and Mike Richter was pushing his pad out to the side, went right between his legs. But the Flyers have scored to make this a two-to-one hockey game. That will be a power play goal for Rick Tockett, his 30th goal of the season. He leads the team in goals, also in power play goals. That is power play goal number 13. So, an important one for the Flyers to get here. The game is now 2-1, to one, Rangers, with 3.08 gone in the second period. Murphy gets one assist. And Sinisalo gets the other on the Flyers' first goal of the night. Here's Ron Sutter bringing it on. Pass ricocheted off Mellonby and came back where Chikrin can get it. Across now for... The lift back in by Terry Karkner. Just checked down at the bench to see if Moeller made a return, and he hasn't. So the Rangers are without Moeller for the rest of the evening, we would anticipate. A giveaway to Nichols. Moving around in front, and a shot trickled through Peters. Was scooped back into him by Terry Karkner, and the Flyers almost were two behind again. 16-12 to go in the second. The Rangers still by one. Well, it's now official. Randy Moeller will definitely not be back tonight as we take a look at Terry Carton trying to move the puck up. It was cut by Bernie Nichols. Pete Peters does a good job. Those little steps, moving across, moving across. You know what Bernie Nichols is waiting for. Give me that five hole. You got to take a big step sooner or later. Peters didn't. He was able to smother that one. So Moeller is gone, and the Rangers have even 
let us know that he will not even play tomorrow night against the Pittsburgh Penguins. He has aggravated a shoulder injury. And Tony Horacek tossed out of the game. Boy, barreling in that time was Keith Acton trying to hit Mark Hardy. Buck brought ahead now by Patrick. James Patrick just dumps it back to the corner. It skips over toward Peters. Able to roll it away from Kissio. And then Ogrodnik flipped one that is just trapped and held to the side of the goal by Peters for a halt to play with 15.44 to go in the second period. Nichols and Ogrodnik have scored for the Rangers and Rick Tockett for the Flyers. You know, we've talked about the Rangers having trouble scoring goals. They are 19th overall in goal scoring. In the last seven games, excluding two empty net goals, as you see Keith Acton ram into the boards, he missed Mark Hardy. But in the last seven games, the Rangers, excluding a couple of empty netters against Edmonton that they scored, have only scored seven even strength goals. You can't win scoring that many. Nobody's going to give you that many power plays. Aside from what the, uh, the plus-minus situation is on power plays against short-handed situations, and the Rangers are highest in the league, that still isn't going to be enough. Buck controlled now by Jay Wells. Swung right back off for Murphy. Murphy's pass skipped away from Craven. Played back along on the turning stick of Ruff, just deflected it ahead for Jansen. Trying to step by was Broughton, but that didn't work. Here comes Chris Nyland, shoulders firmly with Jay Wells, who's lost his stick. Nyland able to peel it away, centered off the back of the goal. It's hand passed around by Wells, but controlled by the Rangers, so play continues. Now it's Tockett back up ice onto Sinisalo. Off the skate of Murray Craven. It is Richter out to get it, winds it around the boards, and Nyland takes over there. Chris Nyland's pass comes up the wing for Broughton. Broughton, though, bear hugs with Kartner and waltzes him around. There'll be a penalty coming up here. And then Jansen goes in against the glass with a flyer. Paul Broughton's the guy that got this penalty, number 37 for the Rangers. He gives Terry Kartner the spinorama and gets a holding call. Paul Broughton is one of five NHL or five rookies in the Rangers lineup tonight. Emilislav Horsheba is also a rookie. He is sitting out tonight. No doubt with Moeller's injury, he'll play tomorrow night. But the Rangers have six rookies who are in their regular rotation. Behind the net, Tim Kerr dumps it along for Brian Prop. Prop just tries to pivot away as the Flyers are working on their fifth power play of the game. Rangers have had four, one of them a five-minuter. Puck comes to the back now to Murphy. Murphy tried to shovel it off. Kissio knocked it away, but Murphy with a good follow-through over to Prop. Then back behind to Eklund. Looks for Kerr. Can't get it to him. Rangers have defended Kerr well tonight. Puck to the outside. Now to Murphy. Fires one that's knocked down by Kissio, and Kissio pulls ahead along with Brian Mullen. They just weave their way in, and Mullen escapes. Oh, and the pass just away from him. Boy, when you have two guys that work together that well, they come up with patterns, and you could see what they were headed to do as soon as Mullen crossed and headed to the left. Now along comes Eklund. Hands back over to Kerr. Tim Kerr with a pass on to Lottle, then to Murphy. Tried to get it to Kerr, but it was tipped by a couple of Rangers. Kerr checked off by Patrick, and it's regathered by Eklund. To the back now to Lottle, then over to Murphy once more. Lottle to Prop. Off his stick, poked away by Hardy. He and Prop go to the corner, and it's worked by Prop to Eklund. The Kerr kicked right back out by Richter. Good action by Kerr, and Richter just challenged beautifully. Prop back on to Eklund again. Out in front, and Kerr fans on it. So just as soon as we thought the Rangers had done a job, Tim Kerr had gotten open twice. 27 seconds to go on the power play. Sinisalo in. Hands over to Tockett. Shoots it wide. Around the boards, it is Yuri Lottel. Pass is chipped back down the ice. That time by Turcott. Turcott and Bernie Nichols are the penalty killers for the Rangers. Buck controlled by Wells. Lays it back ahead for Murray Craven. Punched away from him, though, and regathered by Turcott. Turcott spins one that came off Terry Kartner, who was fresh from the bench. And Nichols just moves ahead along with Leach and then decides to peel off and go back. Hands it back over to Rochefort. Penalty time is up, and the Rangers have killed it off again. Both teams with one power play goal in the game tonight. Rangers have the lead 2-1. 12 minutes, 45 seconds to go in the second period of this one. If the Rangers win this game, they will pull past both Idle, New Jersey, and Pittsburgh into second place. Offside called. If the Flyers are to win it, they would pull into a fourth place, or rather a fifth place tie with the Washington Capitals. Two out of the money. 
Mike Richter has been very sharp in this hockey game. James Patrick has cleared away some rebounds for him. Patrick is playing still with a fractured finger. And a guy that has had a fractured shoulder for the last few years, Tim Kerr, is healthy and ready to pull that trigger at all times. Watch him let this shot go. Mullen was beside him, and then for some reason, Mullen backed up. Well, there it is. Yuri Lotto was sneaking in behind him. As soon as Eklund saw Kerr open, put it right on his tape, and bingo, the big man let it go. Kerry Wilson wedged off by Chikrin and Karkner, then Chikrin peels off to contend with this Ranger attack. It is thrown back away from Rochefort and back down. With Horsch of a scratch, the Rangers only have two plus hockey players in their lineup. Broughton, a plus three, and he's hardly been there that much this year. And John O'Grodnick, who entered the night as a plus eight. All the rest are minus, which again, noting the philosophy of defense, is kind of odd. Buck works to the back. Chickman a shot, and that one is dubbed loose, and it wound up going off Nichols, played by Wilson and dealt along. But Wilson has to play a second time and gave it right up then to Derek Smith. Given away, though, to Patrick, and so back down he sends it, and the Rangers will take this occasion to make another change. Lindy Ruff steps out, so also does Hardy. Ahead now comes Sutter. Pass is just taken right off by Hardy and rolled out. Karkner locked up there along the boards with old Dolan. Karkner able to kick it back for Mellenby. Mellenby passes on to Pelly Eklund. Eklund hooked off, has to go to get it. Feeds it back over to Mellenby. Mellenby tried to shake it around in front and couldn't. Along the board, prop given a good jolt from behind by Chris King, and the puck flipped off Samuelson. Shots are 16 for the Rangers, only one in this period. In the first eight minutes and 45 seconds, the Flyers have four for 12. Kerr's pass went wide of Eklund. Lottle flips it back for Eklund. In front, Kerr scores! Some great passing by the Flyers, and we have not seen a lot of great passing lately from this hockey team, but tape to tape all the way. This one missed, but before that, there were two great passes. Lottle moves the puck behind the net. Watch Tim Kerr right in front of the net. Lindy Ruff made a bad mistake by leaving Tim Kerr, and the big man, yeah, well, there's a push after the fact. It's too late. Watch how Tim Kerr, if we can see him on this one, has to stop this up high with his glove, grab it, put it down, and snap it. It almost was in one fluid motion, but Lindy Ruff read that play absolutely incorrectly and should have stayed with Tim Kerr, not gone behind. I mean, given the choice, who would you stay with? Flyers with two goals in this period, and so they've come from a 2-0 deficit to get the tie with 11.01 to go here in the second. Eklund and Lottle, the assists on Kerr's 14th at 8.59. Kerr stays out there, has Acton on his right and Prop on his left now with the defense of Wells and Murphy. Ogrodnik works one side and Mullen the other side of Kelly Kissio. And in back it is Rochefort along with Brian Leach. And they play some catch with it as it is turned back out for Kissio and up the wing to Mullen. Mullen looks for Kissio to break, flops one in near Pete Peters that is slowed down for Wells. Checked off on the play by Kissio, Ogrodnik comes by. Went down, though, and the puck picked up by Acton and started back out to Kerr. Kerr starts it ahead. He's got Prop alongside and gives to him. Prop feeds over for Acton for Kerr. It ricocheted in on the sprawling Richter. And here's a chance for a breakaway by Kissio. Fires, and he scores! Oh. Kelly Kissio with a drive that has broken the tie. What a chance for the Flyers, first of all. Beautiful play that was squashed by number two, Brian Leach. Richter got a piece of it, but now here's the problem. Not only are all three flyers in, but the defense had pinched up, both Jay Wells and Murphy. But I am shocked. Look where Kissio shoots from. Top of the circle. Beat Pete Peters about eight inches off the ice to the long side. Boy, Frank Mahovlich was about the last guy I saw take a slapper on a breakaway from there. Look how far out Pete Peters is. It's incredible. There was hardly anything for him to shoot at. That's cutting it awfully fine, isn't it? Confidence said it best, I'll tell you what. Kelly Kissio had all kinds of room, and you know, Pete Peters was so far out, you'd have to think, Deke, I mean, move in and try and go around him, especially because Kissio had all kinds of room. He could have gone right in on Pete Peters. Oh, Grodnick gets the only assist on Kissio's ninth at 9.36. So the Rangers are back ahead 3-2 to two as we near the halfway point in regulation time with Tockett. Out in front for Craven, waltzed off though by the checking of Hardy. 
It is Chikrin rolling for Tockett. Tockett punching it behind. Coming along is Patrick, but getting there first and then taking a bump was Jansen. Tockett shovels in front. Deflected by Craven, but picked up off of Richter by Patrick and scaled back along and out. 9.46 to go in the second. We pause now for a regional break. Well, this game has opened up. It was tight in the first period, but now in the second period, Murray Craven got a little piece of Rick Tockett's shot. Mike Richter made the save with the toe. Joe Newenight's goal, 32nd of the year, has gotten Calgary ahead of the Islanders 2-1. to one. Puck angled off, and heading for it are Hardy and Mellonby. Mellonby to play it along to Derek Smith. Checked there by Nichols. Fed to Mellonby, and the shot went wide. Lotto tops one along that is fronted loose by Leach. Trying to get to it as Mellonby, but could not control long enough. Nichols just shovels it back out. Shell Samuelson there. Rips one back off the glass that pops near Leach. Behind, though. And the Ron Sutter tried to tear by Richter. It is worked by Derek Smith back to Samuelson. Shovels one off that went by Sutter. Gliding to that is Leach. Oh, and missing big time on him was Melendy. Leach able to play again and turns it back out. Here's a two-on-one. Nichols moving in along with Millett. Big drive and a sixth save made by Peters on Millett. You know who you would want to have be the trigger guy on this two-on-one if you're a, a Rangers coach? You want Bernie Nichols to have it. But Shell Samuelson stayed in between really well, and why not? I mean, Sammy has to know that he wants Millette to take the shot just like everybody else. but he gathers with the glove, turns it behind for Kerr, wedged off by Rochefort to the corner, shouldering our Patrick and Brian Prop. Kerr tries to get to the front, it's off the outside of the net, dug out by Rochefort, and flips one that swirls past Murphy. Murphy going back along with Jay Wells, pursuing him is Ogrodnik. And Gord Murphy able to turn away from Ogrodnik, then is sent down by the check of Kelly Kissio. Off controlled by Eklund. Eklund with 8.20 to go in the second period, and his team down by one, 3-2, hands to Murphy. Shovels one, pay, pay by Richter. Wells the drive, hits the post! And it's knocked back across, O'Brodnick has it. Put down on the play, but the penalty coming up to Eklund. The iron rang first, and then the whistle of Bill McCreary. Boy, the Flyers came close. Gord Murphy dumped his shot in on Richter. The puck went out to Jay Wells and Clango. He blasted one up high right here. Off the post to Mike Richter's left. And then Kelly Eklund fighting out with fighting it out with John O'Grodnick. Watch him get the stick on O'Grodnick. O'Grodnick pulled it up very quickly. He just threw him off balance enough and O'Grodnick knew he was going down. Made it look good. Rangers power play. This is their fifth one of the game. They are one for the prior four. Nichols. Sends one around the wall. Peters has lost his stick, picks up the puck and throws it along. And he's the one guy that can do that. All the way down, it is said. And so it is Richter who will leave it there for Leach. Nichols is out. We mentioned him. We should also tell you it's Patrick, as well as Turcott and Dolan. Those are the Ranger five. Ahead with this is Turcott. Wedged off by the checking of Ron Sutter. To the wall they go. And meanwhile, Samuelson can turn it back down. Talk it to the bench. Sinisalo steps back out. Sinisalo and Sutter up front. We mentioned Samuelson in back as well. Dolan peels off, sends one around the wall. Sinisalo is there, hacked one that went off of Leach, played back out by Wells, but off the stick of Sutter, who comes to the bench in favor of Keith Acton. So Hardy once more. His penalty time is down now to one minute even to go on the power play. 7-10 in the second. Rangers ahead 3-2 and on scurries Brian Mullen. Away from the reach of Acton, he plays back over to Leach. Leach then hands back over to John O'Grodnick. Last one that is blocked off by Peters and scooped back out by the defense. 
Rangers are taking some wholesome blasts here on Pete Peters, perhaps uh, on the strength of that Kelly Kissio slap shot goal. But on now comes Kissio, and Samuelson stood him up. It's Acton along to Samuelson, and it's floated back down. 27 seconds to go. Some good penalty killing here for the Flyers. Sinazalo goes in to force the hand of Rochefort. Turns it right back around for the play to come to him from Mark Hardy. But ahead now to Mullen. Has a man breaking Kissio. Mullen just peels off and waits with it now. Penalty time down to 10 seconds to the back. Hardy, a shot flopped away. And to the corner, it hops over for Mullen again. Mullen away from Craven, but then gave it up to him. And Murray Craven can step back out for the Flyers as penalty time is up. Rochefort knocks it away from Craven, and he tried to work it ahead, but Mullen from one knee is able to lift it back near Wells. Clock kicks down to an even six minutes to go here in the second. Wells bringing it ahead for the Flyers. Hammers one that went into the pad of Richter. Oh. Back ahead for John Odrodnik to carry. Odrodnik was one of the three Ranger goals tonight. Nichols and Kissio, the others. Tocken and Kerr have scored for the Flyers. Here's Pelly Eklund, peeling away from the poor checking of Chris Nyland. Eklund's pass came back up the wing now to Kartner. Shovels one around the board. Richter spikes it loose behind. Played by Russ. Dealt back along to Patrick. Up the middle for Paul Brock. Up the wing to Nyland. He's got Jansen cruising. Nyland tried to get it to him, but in the way was Kartner. Now back to Patrick. He chopped one around. The Peters is there to bunt along to Kartner. And Kartner put it off the stick of action and back out. Dumped right back in by Patrick. Another shift change on the Ranger defense. Leach and Rochefort hop out. Flyers try to turn it out, but can't. Nyland dealt it right back to the corner, but just away from Jansen. Now Peters is out there, tried to finesse his way by Broughton, and Chickren had to help out. And then a problem for Derek Smith, but it came to Carter, who just banged it back ahead. Smith able to nudge on to Tim Kerr. Left the puck behind, and then Carter as well. So things a little scrambly for the Flyers just now as Samuelson's pass clicked off of Leach, delayed offside call. Leach pivots away, still the delayed call on, and swipes as he comes back up ice. Just over four and a half to go in this second period. Flyers tied the game at two with two goals early in the period, but then the Rangers broke the tie on the breakaway slap shot goal by Kelly Kissio. It is Gartner flipping. It's gloved down by Nichols, and then Gartner can't keep it. Here come the Rangers. They had them out man, but couldn't go in onside. Nichols, a shot! Dipped away by the foot save of Peters, and then it's off Samuelson, and a drive that is knocked down by Peters and held off a dry Millet. War 11 to go. Middle period our, our game, and it is still 3-2 Rangers. The Rangers pressured when we left you. Bernie Nichols picked up the drop pass, and really didn't get much on it but for the last three minutes it has been one bounce after another one broken play after another finally Troy Millette turned around found the puck right in front of him and blasted that one Pete Peters very wisely smothered it for a slowdown boy oh boy when things get bouncing and turning and twisting and out of control as a goaltender you got to slow things down there's Pete Peters leading the rush that was Gary Smith wasn't it <laughs> Buck dumped right back along, and Chris King will roll it down. Derek King of the Islanders has scored to tie that game with the Calgary Flames at 2-2 in the second period. Quebec ahead of Vancouver, 3-1 in the second. Chicago with the early 1-0 lead on Buffalo, and St. Louis, Minnesota scoreless in the first. Wonder if they have a sellout in Minnesota again tonight after they sold out their most recent game. Centering pass from Lottle, cut off there. Dealt back out now by Old Dolan. Stepping to it is Turcotte. Looks for a pass. Didn't get one off of Chris King, but back it came to Turcotte. Moves in now along with Dolan. Turcotte drops. King is able to chip it along, but it came right over to Sinisalo. Then back ahead onside to Rick Tockett. Tockett picks up Murray Craven, but picking up the puck is Lindy Ruff. 23 shots for the Rangers, 8 in this period. The Flyers with 17. They have 9. Ahead now races. Leach tries to go by the defense. Took a shot from Murphy. Murphy wound up going er, into the net. Check that Jay Wells dislodging it. And with that, we have a halt to play. Brian Leach puts about four moves, one after the other on Jay Wells, coming down in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Outside, inside, outside. Look at Wells. He turned the wrong way. <laughs> he was lucky to be able to swing around and take a good swat at the putt when Brian Leach blew by him because Jay Wells definitely turned the wrong way. He's got some great moves, Leach does. Off this face off, puck comes back to Rochefort, wraps it around the boards, and Pete Peters knocks it loose over for Murphy. Then back off of 
Rochefort and turned back ahead but out of play by Jansen. And so again we get a halt to the proceedings here with 2.58 to go in the second and the Rangers leading 3-2. Dealt across toward Tim Kerr. Kerr pivoting with it. Tries to get away, but it is Paul Broughton bringing it back up. He's got Nyland along with him. Gave it up to Jay Wells, and the play went in offside. So again, a halt to the action. Well, we have talked about how many divisional games these teams have left. Chris Nyland has to figure as a key New York Ranger. Ever since he arrived in New York for the Montreal Canadiens organization, the team has kind of gone as Chris has gone. I mean, when he's in the lineup, they do well. When he's not in the lineup, they don't do that well. And within the division, the Rangers have the worst interdivisional um, record of all of the teams in the Patrick division. They've won seven, lost 11, and tied four. The Flyers have won nine, lost 11, and tied three. They have the second worst record. And the Rangers are without a win on their last eight road games played in the division. Here's Mellenby cranking a shot that is sealed up and held by Mike Richter. Mike Richter has been splendid again tonight. His record is impressive at 6-2-3. And, and he just had a seven-game unbeaten streak ended. Now, who gave him the snow shower? He goes down there. See if we can let this one go. Watch the snow come up on Woohoo! <laughs> Still has specks of it on his jersey doesn't he sure well in practice you do that intentionally goalie goes down and stop the puck and you come and you give him your best sliding 10 foot stop taking up about a quarter inch of ice in the chip and then the next day you have a welt across the back of the leg to show for it right depending on who it is yeah you might have one right away well Sutter off the face off with Kissio puck taken along now by Hardy Hardy just dumps that one down, and Pete Peters watches as over the end line it goes, and icing is waved off. Jeff Chikrin sent one off the glass and down, and icing is going to be waved off on this one. Oh, no, I was seeing Ron Finn all the way signaling icing, and uh, the other linesman, Dan McCourt, saying no. But regardless, the attorneys have asked us to tell you that this copyrighted telecast is presented by the authority of Sports Channel America. Sure, we, we've all got them, don't we? and is intended for the private, non-commercial use of our audience. Any publication, reproduction, retransmission, or other use of the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this event without the express written consent of Sports Channel America is prohibited and the barristers are happy. Now, you didn't seem real proud of the fact that you had your own lawyers there for well, a second. <laughs> I think we all do, don't I? Yeah, we all do, you said. No. That's okay. Bar Association will have a letter on the way to me. Of course, you'll be scot-free. <laughs> It's all right, you're taken care of, right? Next time you're locked up again overnight and you make that call. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Kissio, he said, changing the subject, will move in for the faceoff opposite Ron Sutter in this game that the Rangers have led by as much as 2 nothing. Seen it tied, and then they broke the tie less than a minute after the Flyers had uh, evened the score at 2. Kelly Kissio with a breakaway slap shot goal from Ogrodnik at 9.36. And that's where we stand right now at 3-2. to two. Pete Peters lays this one off. Terry Karkner there to take it. And Karkner will bring it further. Up the wing now to Scott Mellenby with a pass that sailed away from Sutter to the corner. Sutter goes just booms into James Patrick. And behind the net played by Rochefort. Good solid check by Sutter that time. Samuelson floats the shot wide. And it is Patrick. Stepped into by Mellenby. Puck hooked ahead. Up for Ogrodnik. Nice little punch across to Kissio. One-on-one with Shell Samuelson. Kissio peels off. Looks for a pass and is just wrapped up to the boards by the octopus-like countenance of Samuelson. Delayed offside is wiped as the Flyers can bring it back. A pass escapes loose and is carried by Mellenby. Surrounded by blue and red. Mellenby just there to try to work a pass to Samuelson. Bounces to him and a shot is saved by Richter. Rebound! They scramble for it and it kicked back over for Mullen. And there'll be a penalty coming up against the Flyers on this. To the bench comes Richter. Extra man out will be Nichols, but it won't matter. The Flyers touch, so out of that scramble at one end, the Flyers guilty of the penalty. Interference is the call, and the Rangers will wind up with a power play. I think it might be Ron Sutter. He was right in front, tied up. Yeah, it is. Sutter for interference. Samuelson decided to shoot. Watch Ron Sutter. He stays right in front, 
pokes away a Richter. Now the penalty hasn't come yet. There's the one shove right there. That's what he got it for, shoving off, I guess. It was called interference. Ron Sutter obviously doesn't like it, but with a minute and seven to go in the second period, and the Rangers leading by one, they've got a minute and three seconds to work with on the power play here. Rangers will go on power play number six. Tonight they have connected on one. Dan McCourt, brother Dale played in the league for a while. About to drop this puck in front of Bernie Nichols. This actually is Bernie Nichols' first game within the Patrick division since joining the Rangers. Nine straight games outside of the division, now a whole bunch inside the division. Rangers with 13 left counting this one. Out of the 23 games that they have remaining, the Flyers have 23 as well, and they have 12 Patrick Division games left, so they'll have a lot to say about how they finish, because they're going to go head-to-head -head with the teams they need to pass. Puck dealt along here, controlled by Turcotte, to the back it comes to Leach, Turcotte once more, Nichols floating near the front of the net, pass worked off as they wanted to isolate Samuelson and have two-on-one in deep, the other one being Dolan with Nichols. Then to the back it comes for a shot by... Patrick that was kicked away by Wells. Nichols tries to work it further, but can't. Bernie Nichols now controlling on the outside. Half a minute to go in the period. Nichols feeds one that tipped in front and sprawling with Peters as he wanted to reach Leach and got a lucky bounce to get it to him, but Peters sprawled across to make the save. It is Patrick again. Moving back up with Nichols nearby. Gives over, though, to Turcotte. Couldn't get the pass away as he was wedged out by Samuelson. Buck turned across by Sinisato. Walked right back along by Leach. Handed over to Dolan. Dolan with a shot. Oh, blocked away by Pete Peters, who was quick with a stick that time. Nichols to the back, and a shot at the horn by Hardy. Went off of Keith Acton. And with that, the Flyers kill off the first minute seven of the Rangers' power play as the period comes to a close. Tockett, his 30th on the power play from Murphy and Sinisalo at 3.08. Kerr from Eklund and Lottle at 8.59. Kissio, his ninth. Kerr's, by the way, his 14th. Kissio, his ninth from Ogrodnik at 9.36. Shots on goal in the period, 11 for the Rangers. For the Flyers, 12. It is 3-2 Rangers. We pause for a regional break. been pretty good haven't they shots on goal 20 for the flyers 26 for the new york rangers tonight pete peters and mike richter what well, has to be a big thrill for mike first time starting in the nhl here in the spectrum yielded two goals in the second period one to rick tockett the other to tim kerr and he didn't have much of a chance on either one of them kissio nichols and ogrodnik are the other goal scorers rangers lead three to two we start this third period carryover penalty to Ron Sutter. Still, the Flyers have 45 seconds of it to kill off, and the clock moving. As it is Leach, watched by Sinisalo, turns it back on now to the pivoting Wilson. Then ahead to Leach. Moves up the wing to Nichols. Oh, it looked as though he was going to crank the shot, and I had that ready to go. Nichols did too, and he faked us all out. But you know, that still should count as a shot on goal. That would give Bernie Nichols nine shots, and he ain't through yet, folks. He did the same thing that time that he did in the second period. Kept moving wide, waiting for Pete Peters to take that one big step to spread his legs far enough so that he could shoot through the five pole. Never happened. Pete Peters took good, tiny steps as he cruised along. Seven seconds to go on the power play to the Rangers as Leach gives it back across to Nichols. Slugs one around the glass and boards that's popped up in the air by Peters and just tended behind for Terry Kartner. And the Flyers have killed off the power play. Ron Sutter right out of the box. Works up the wing to Brian Prop. Franks the shot. It went off the tip of the glove of Richter. And it's turned back out for the drill back in by Jeff Chikrin. Slides right over for Hardy to play. Right after him is Brian Prop. Caught him up high with the stick. Hardy kept going, though. Slides one back in deep, and Terry Karkner will go to take it. Kissio right after him. Floats it off his stick. Dumped back along by Mullen to Kissio to Ogrodnik. And that shot tipped loose by Eklund. As Pelly Eklund got on John Ogrodnik, who had that play conceived very well by his line mate. Ogrodnik hooked that one away, and it came back over to Chikrin. A minute and a half gone in the third period of our game, if you're just joining us. The Rangers scored the first two. The Flyers answered with a couple in the second period. And then the Rangers broke the tie less than a minute after the Flyers had knotted it up on Kelly Kissio's goal. Offside call, and play is stopped here in the third period. 
Puck held around by Lotto. Rolls for Sinisalo and then on to Tockett. Back for Sinisalo again. Came loose and Ruff hooked it off, but Tockett kept it. Spun it back for Sinisalo. Sinisalo out in front. Backhander off of Richter who got the pad stack right out in front again. And it's forced loose by Craven. They score! Boy, you talk about hanging in there. The short-term perseverance was at its best for the Flyers right here. Great play by Sinisalo. He almost scored. Lottle, incidentally, number 11 for the Flyers, was hurt on the play. He left the ice hunched over. But Murray Craven stayed with it. Somehow, that baby had enough steam to get under Mike Richter and over the line. But Sinisalo made a super play to start it off right there. And with Richter down, then up again, Rick Tockett jammed it in front. Murray Craven kept pounding away at it, and in it went. Yuri Lotto had enough steam to raise his arms in celebration, but then cruised to the bench. Remember, he is still nursing the remains of a broken rib. Tockett gets one assist on Craven's 20th at 2.08, and Lotto gets the other one. And so our game is tied again at three. Rochefort chopped that one around the board. Chris King with it. Pass one just under the stick of Sutter, and coming ahead with this now is Dolan. A shot hit the outside of the goal as Dolan was able to freeze right by the defense. Now it's Smith with a pass across to Ron Sutter. Booming hit on him by Rochefort. Turn back out and up with it is Derek Smith. Wells is there. Then across to Murphy. Jay Wells looks ahead. Sutter stays out. Boy, did he ever go down oh. after Rochefort lined him up. Rochefort's a killer, man. I'll tell you what. When he decides that he wants to come cross ice and take you out, six feet, 210 pounds, there are a lot of guys that can tell you how hard he hits. Here's this one on to Kartner. Shovels a shot that is tipped away by Leach. To the corner, Wilson knocks Prop off the play, but it is Mellonby there. Dumps to the corner and Prop right after it. To the point, Chikrin a shot. Save made by Richter, and he'll hang on. 3.15 gone in the third period. Crowd applauds the tie game. Watch this freight train attempt by Norman Rochefort on Ron Sutter. He came across and just got a piece of him, flipped him up in the air, landed on Chris King's back. Boy, oh boy. He is going to be an important guy for the Rangers. Norman Rochefort is down the stretch. He is a hard, hard hitter. And he plays 110 all the time. As a matter of fact, Michelle Bergeron told Roger Nielsen to make sure he was 100% physically before he let him back into the lineup because he goes 100% all the time. And if he's not physically ready, he'll hurt himself. That was a good indication of how he plays. Oh, a centering pass from Wilson. Came right back, and then Chikrin rams into Millette. Puck played back by Kartner. On now to Tim Kerr. Up the wing, it's tipped in deep by Pelly Eklund. Back to get it is Patrick. Eklund bumps into him. And it is Millette to play for the defense. Rolling it around now for Wilson, but it is kept alive by Kerr. Then shaken off his stick and back out. And we get a halt to play as the net dislodged behind Richter. So with 16.04 to go here in the third period and our game tied at three. Net replaced and we're ready to resume play. Now I wonder if the Global Hockey League is going to have the magnetized little pins or the big long ones. The Global Hockey League is supposed to happen next year, combining North American teams and European teams with an interlocking schedule. Got a lot of planning to do between now and then, but what are they projecting? About 14 to 18 teams, potentially? And a road swing through Europe a couple of times a year, too. Albany is the one franchise that has already begun to sell tickets, we understand. Not yep. Albany, Georgia, either. Albany, New York. Here is Ogrodnik stepping ahead. John O'Grodnick puts on the brakes. Oh, good shot in on Peter's centering pass on the rebound. Picked up by Tockett. Well, O'Grodnick has that big slap shot, but he feathered that one in nicely, too. Around it came over to O'Grodnick with a pass that is tipped away from Kissio. Then played by Samuelson. On to Murray Craven. Tries for Tockett. Doesn't get him. Back then is Leach. Checked from behind by Tockett. Leach able to fight his way off. Good play by Brian Leach. 
eventually able to rip it onto Ogrodnik and then to Kissio. Drops for Ogrodnik and then Kissio in front to Leach and he was behind Waddle but couldn't control for the one-time spin around attempt. Now Ogrodnik sealed up to the boards by Craven. It is Tockett, can't get it ahead. Puck brought on by Kissio but closing quickly with Samuelson. Samuelson rolling it up now to Sinisalo. Kept alive though by Patrick. Deals it off for Ogrodnik. Checked away by Sinisalo. Good tight play right now. Chris Nyland goes to get it. Back it comes to Rochefort. Flips it away from Tockett, but it's followed up by Lottle. Dumps it ahead for Tockett, but he can't take it as he was across early. Now back to play this one is Patrick. 14.50 to go, third period of this game. Patrick pass went off the linesman, Ron Finn. Still along the boards they battle, and it is jabbed back out by Patrick again. Murphy connects with Wells. Up the boards for Derek Smith. Drives it right back down. Richter there, sweeps it back along from where it came, and he went down. Meanwhile, the puck picked up by Jansons and forced back up to Paul Broughton. Broughton and Nyland moving along, and it's dumped to the Nyland corner, but Pete Peters is there first. Scoops it around the boards, and Mellonby has it. Mellonby dumps one along for Ron Sutter. Sutter watched and pawed at by Hardy as he tried to step by. Leach goes there. Hammer to the boards by Smith. Got good body position, tried to center, but couldn't get it out in front. Murphy will stride back for it. Right on his tail, though, is Jansen. They check one another off, and then Murphy is able to get the control. Hands back to Melendy. Moving back up the wing, and down he goes. Also, when going down with Derek Smith, Van Fuing here, indicating Melendy had been fouled. Moving right in is Turcotte. Oh, and he got a good short side shot away that Peters blocked off. Now Terry Karkner stepping back out. Able to pull away from the check of Turcotte. Parkner with a nice pass up the wing, but just too far for Brian Prop. Can't get by. There'll be a penalty coming up now. And we get the call. It'll be tripping. So the Flyers are on the power play. Thanks to a tripping penalty by Chris King. There it is. Terry Carter has jumped in. Tried to make a nice pass. King got him with the foot. So the Rangers are, at least the Rangers are down a man. The Flyers are on the power play. This will be their sixth one. They've hit on one of the previous five. Tim Kerr, who has one of the Flyers' goals, is out there now. Pop comes back to Waddle. Readies it, but doesn't pull the trigger. Tried for a Kerr deflection and missed. And around it came for Mullen. And Mullen just drives it back. The Rangers on the defense will make use of Hardy and Patrick. And up front it is Kissio. Green for Mullen. Moves in and shoots. And Peters with a save. He covers up. It came loose. Bill McCreary had blown the whistle. And now Murphy has wrestled Kissio down at the goal crease. Ryan Prop trying to get to Mullen. And Peters out to have words with him. Brian Prop lost it at the blue line. That's what caused the rush, the two-on-one. And then the Rangers tried to dig it out from under Pete Peters' glove when he had a smother. That's what started what you're watching right now, the lockup between Kelly Kissio and Gord Murphy. One minute and 37 seconds from now, it'll be a 23-second power play coming up to the Rangers. Game tied at three. Boy, it's been a hard-fought contest tonight, too. Randy Moeller out with a shoulder injury for the rest of the night. Tony Horacek tossed 76 seconds into the first period on a game misconduct. Here comes Craven, moving along with Sinisano, but it is picked up and brought back out by Kelly Kissio. Kissio stepping ahead with Patrick, but it was checked away from him. Moving back up with it is Sinisano. He's got Lotto flying behind, and Craven, the deal to Lotto. Pat top made by Richter. Boy, the goalies have come up soundly tonight, haven't they? This one dumped back off by Patrick. Lottle tried to chop it along, but they ruled it was taken across two lines by Brian Mullen. Well, Yuri Lottle recovered from that injury that he received on Murray Craven's goal because he is on the ice for this shot. He really followed up on the play well. You know, Yuri Lottle, I think, is still kind of feeling his way back into the lineup. It really stunts your progress. When you're a rookie, you come into the league, you, you open with a few great games and then you get hurt it's so hard to come back in stride the way you were when you left the lineup and especially with Mark Howe being out of the lineup he relied heavily on Lottle and vice versa Lottle relied more heavily on Howe I should say they played together were a pair 
But Lottle has the kind of mobility that you need in today's day and age in the National Hockey League. Every team needs at least a couple of Yuri Lottles or they simply can't compete on a championship basis. Here's Nichols trying to get by Karkner. Pete Peters will come out as the two of them cancel, and Peters flings that one along to Brian Propp. Well, this is uncharacteristic of Pete to try a lot of stick handling, but he's done it tonight. Eklund dropping one back to the corner. Brian Propp goes in, turns away from Bernie Nichols, tries over for Karkner. It's knocked loose now by Leach. Brian Leach leading the rush right back out for the Rangers. Crisply on the wing, it comes to Turcotte. Down to the ice went Nichols. Turcotte dumps off for Nichols. Wheels one that went wide. Then it is dumped in front by Rochefort, and Peters comes out to try to cover. Gets help from Brian Propp to seal it up, and the fans are responding to the effort of Pete Peters tonight. I remember asking Pete Peters two years ago what his strong suit was, and he said after 10 years in the league, I think it's got to be composure. Well, his composure is no less now than it was a couple of years ago. He's been pretty cool. He's mishandled the puck a few times, but he never gets rattled. Never seems to create his own monster with panic. Always able to find a way to recover. At least he has been able to find a way to recover tonight. Well, he's deserved some victories this year in his outings, but he hasn't gotten one yet. Ron Sutter will try to win this faceoff from Kissio. In 18 seconds, the Rangers will have that 23-second power play. Game tied at 3, 11.51 to go, third period. Kissio, then to Ogrodnik, to Kissio, save made by Peters! The Rangers did just what they wanted to do, but Peters made the big stop. Well, you can see why John Ogrodnik may have wanted to go back and be on a line with Kelly Kissio. Boy, they work well together. They sense each other. Ogrodnik just went in a great big circle right around the big round circle, the face-off circle. Puck went right to his stick. And Kelly Kissio was able to pull back into the area that's hard to cover. That high slot is hard to pay attention to. Kissio and Sutter once more, and Sutter in early. No one really took this face off. It pops over to Jay Wells, dumps it back off for Sutter. Moving up with Samuelson, pass on the wing is tipped to the glass by Brian Leach. Dumped back in by Samuelson. Out of the box now is Chris King, and the Rangers are on the power play for the next 20 seconds. Ahead comes John Ogrodnik on the wing to Kissio, drops it back to Leach, fires one in front, Ogrodnik scores! A power play goal for the Rangers, it's 4-3. to three. Brian Leach has logged more ice time in this hockey game than any other player, and he deserves it too. What a play he makes here to John Ogrodnik. The play comes over to the side, then back to Leach, watch Leach. Wind up with a shot, uh-uh. It hit a couple of sticks on the way through, but it did get through to John O'Grodnick. Brian Leach has got Omnivision, folks. He can see it all. He wound up with a slapper. That took Jay Wells to the ice to try to block, and then he slid it through. Even though it ricocheted, it made it through. There's Wells going down. It made it all the way through to John O'Grodnick. That is John O'Grodnick's 33rd goal of the season and one here tonight. Leach gets one assist, and Kissio gets the other. On a power play goal at 8.37, so the Flyers find themselves behind again in a game during which they've not had a lead. Wiping out that time was Rotten on a little bit of a graze from Tockett. Puck punched in by Tockett, and the Flyers are offside with 11.02 to go in this third period. goaltender Richter has faced 103 shots in the third periods of the last nine games. It's an average of about 12. While his team has gotten 47. And that's an average of about 6. But yet the goals against are 8 and the goals for are 8 in those last nine games of third periods that Richter has played. That's how good he's been. Patrick shovels one off. Tipped wide by Wilson. And Mellenby drops it back ahead now for Lottle. Moving up with Ron Sutter, the only trailer on the play just now. Moves it ahead for Sutter, but it is checked off by Patrick and dumped back out. And then he took a hit from Scott Mellenby. Deliberately, it's Nichols circling. Then turning it on to Wilson, then ahead for Millette. A shot is off Peters and wide. It is Samuelson. 
Able to fight away from one, then give on to Yuri Lotto. Up the wing, it's taken on the backhand of the stick of Mellonby. Can't fight his way by the defense of Rochefort. Fans want a holding call as Smith set it up, and a shot by Sutter was stopped in the rebound. Also gotten by Richter, who was just brilliant in alertness on that play. The shot by Sutter hit him, but he was able to get in front of a quick rebound. Partner starts right back up again. Had it hooked off his stick, and it's floated back to where... Jeff Chikrin must go back to play. Clock the enemy of the Flyers right now. 7.05 to go in the third. Rangers have the lead 4-3. to three. Clock dumped ahead for Pelly Eklund. Able to shunt it back to the corner. Watching this traffic flow as Richter as Kerr goes in. Belted by Lindy Ruff. Then along it's sent by Eklund. Kerr turning again and Ruff takes him to the corner. Jim Kerr trying to kick it along the control and Lindy Ruff just battling him every inch of the way. Rangers can't clear. Kerr once more. This time Ruff floated it away through Chikrin. Chikrin stood up with Chris King as you watch this come back near Peters. Oh, he nearly handed away that time and did. Now out in front. Oh, what a one-time shot by Kerpot. And Peters was in front of that one. Ruff lays it back over to Eklund. Nice finesse move to get away from Turcott. Kelly Eklund took some lumber from Leach. Flips one in front, but Leach right there to clear it away. And so the Flyers have to go back again. 6.15 to go here in the period. Flyers in this period have nine shots, and the Rangers playing a bit more conservatively with eight. Peters in, tried to throw a check. Behind the net is Mullen. Centers one in front, and Peters went racing back. Dislodged the net as the centering pass for Kissio failed. Man, six minutes to go in the third. Remarkably, 4-3 Rangers. Watch the right of your screen. Pete Peters will show up. There. Didn't have a chance to get the puck, so he tried to take Mullen with the body. That didn't work either. Mullen went around, centered in front. There's Pete again on the left side of your screen. Way to move around for us, Pete. He watches this faceoff that will involve Craven and Kissio. Mullen and Ogrodnik are Kissio's wingers as the puck comes over to Yuri Lottle. Tried for Craven, but it went ahead now to Tockett. Cross ice over to Ilka Sinasalo. Feeds for Tockett, and a diving play made by Rochefort, and then he dislodges the net, and may have hurt himself. Seemed to be flexing the left hand a little bit, and I think that's the part that made contact with the post. But Tockett had just gotten by, it appeared. Boy, they were both reaching for it, but Tockett had about a quarter step on him, so Rochefort had to, to dive for it. He actually made a pretty good play. Just wasn't able to recover quickly enough. Good thing the net came off for the Rangers' sake. He saw Tockett over in the background with the puck ready to circle the wagons and come for a shot. Ron Finn, who has worked more playoff games than any active linesman, including that four-overtimer a couple of years ago in Washington, Drop that puck, and behind the net, Sinisalo out in front, backhander by Tockett. Another save made by Richter on the rebound. And it is Mullen, flipping one that is gloved down by Lottle and thrown ahead to Tockett. Play continues now, and the Rangers are screaming from the bench on a hand pass, and Ron Finn blew it down and said, hey, that's the right call, and so back out it'll come. You know what, Ron Finn overruled Bill McCreary on that, and, and you're right, he did make a good call. Lottle had it at the blue line, and he pushed it back through with his hand. Rick Tockett made contact with it first. See the puck? Now watch Lotto right here. Just throw it through, and Tockett will make contact with this puck first, right there. That has to be blown down. Bill McCreary was in the corner on the same side, and Finn was out near the blue line where he could see what McCreary couldn't. Well, you stop to think of the type of conditioning these guys have to be in. Now, Ron Finn is not a rookie in this league. He's been at it over 20 years and uh, worked here a couple days ago. Is in the midst of a schedule of 80 games just like the players are. The referees work 70, the linesmen 80, and if there are injuries, they wind up working even more. Here ahead now is James Patrick with 5.23 to go in the third. Had one that was gloved down by Jeff Chikrin, wound up with it in his glove, and play is stopped.
Returning to play, it is Terry Kartner with it for the Flyers with five minutes to go in regulation time. His team trailing in the game, four to three. Stepped into by Nyland. Patrick spun it back along trying to get it to Nyland, but it popped loose and Kartner will be able to keep it at the blue line. Rolled one around and, well, it seemed like he had it, but a delayed offside is being signaled by Ron Finn, no matter, as the Rangers bring it back up. Nyland turned it back in and then went down as it is spun back ahead by Peters, but just away from Scott Mellenby. Roche for playing that for the Rangers, dumping it off for Millette. Tried to tip it ahead, but it went into the skate of the linesman, Dan McCourt, brought away by Wilson. Around the nickel, save made by Peters. It went off his back as he spun. Back up now comes Jay Wells. Wells turning one around the board. Kelly Eklund goes to get it first. Just over four minutes to play. Centering pass for Kerr, but in deep to play that one, and flip it was Millette. Played by Prop. Over to Eklund, shot knocked down. Eklund sent down from behind on a check by Nichols. Puck played by Leach. Crisply back ahead. Bernie Nichols can bring it back out. Flips up the wing for Wilson, but it was gloved out of play. And so the clock stopped again with 3.51 to go here in the third. Well, by my count, that was Bernie Nichols' 10th shot on goal in this hockey game. Kerry Wilson did a good job of seeing him, put it right on the tape, but Nichols went back to the other side of the net. He's got a lot more net if he goes high to the side that he's looking at, but he shot it back from this angle to this side of the net. Watch this. I mean, I think he had high to the side that he was uh, looking at, but he decided to come back and it hit Pete Peters. He did a good job of getting over there, though. Shows great agility. Pete Peters seems to have none at all when you see him just standing there letting Puck hit him, but in situations like that, is when he really turns it on and shows you that he's able to get back and forth. And you know, the Flyers work on that drill, that side-to-side -side drill, going back from one post to the other. Craven drops it off for Tockett, shot deflected wide. Around behind Craven to the slot. Samuelson, wide with a bullet drive. It is turned back along by King, kept alive though by Samuelson. Chris King goes back to play it and then Craven behind. Pass went through Tockett and then he locks up with Lindy Ruff. Puck spun to the front by Samuelson and directed just wide by Murray Craven. Turning with it now is Tockett. Wedged on the play by Hardy. On the outside, Lottle. Dumped one off for Sinisalo. Rammed by Ruff. Loose puck behind. They battle for it still. Down to three minutes and five seconds to go. Tockett shovels one behind. Getting to it first will be Chris King. Lays it right back behind the net again, and Ruff will have to go to play. Ruff just bangs one off the boards that skips all the way back down. If Samuelson gets there first, it's an icing. Wedges with Chris King. Touches it first. And the faceoff will come all the way back near Mike Richter. 37 shots for the Rangers. The Flyers with 31. Samuelson... Initially, it didn't seem to be all right. Now, maybe he has been grazed as he went down or maybe shaken by the crash to the ice. Boy, good chances by the Flyers. Shell Samuelson, you know, Richter got a piece of that. I thought Samuelson had rifled that wide. But Mike Richter got a piece of it. Roger Nielsen continuing to go with his four lines. Paul Holman lost Tony Horacek. Early in this hockey game, he was tossed out of the game. So the Flyers have been one man shy of four complete lines. The Rangers lost the defenseman, Randy Moeller, in the second period. So they're down to 5D. But they have four complete forward lines. And Roger Nielsen continues pretty well to go with that rotation. Hasn't put Dolan and King's line out there as much as this guy, Tizio, or Bernie Nichols. But everybody has seen ice time for both teams. to the board, then Rochefort, Kizio knocks it away, even to get this is Ron Sutter, centers one for Kerr, but he was wedged quickly by Rochefort, back to Murphy, a shot, right in on goal, and Richter made the stop, now it is Mullen, watching as O'Grodnick brings it ahead, jumps it right in on Peters, and Mullen goes tearing in on him, but Peters is able to dump it off now for Mellonby, Mellonby away from the reach of Kizio, but not that of Mullen, who flipped it right back into him, Kizio tried to follow through and did the same thing. Help came from Leach, who's able to fidget away from Mellon. He's checking and deal it off for Mullen. Mullen given a shove from behind by Jay Wells. Now it's played by Ron Sutter. Along to Wells. Tries for Mellon, but it goes back to Rochefort. 2.05 to go. And Mellon bangs into Rochefort, but the puck came loose. Scott Mellon can kick it further for Murphy to control. A little more space, but his pass went off to Chris Nyland. 
Wheels on back now with Jansen. Nyland with a pass for Jansen. Worked off though by Pete Peters who came out. Jay Wells was there too, and so not much of a threat on that one. Wells pursued by Jansen. Across it came but through Murphy, and then shot back along by Crockett. 100 seconds to go. Flyers have to have one to force overtime. Around the boards, it's chopped back out again by Paul Broughton. Samuelson regathers. Pass ahead, tip loose by Broughton, and here come the Rangers. Bernie Nichols ahead, hands to Nyland. Back for Nichols, blocked off by Samuelson. Nyland and Samuelson tie up in the corner. Yuri Lotto brings it ahead, but hands on a pass. Now scoops it back off to Samuelson. 38 shots for the Rangers, 32 for the Flyers as we hit the last 70 seconds of regulation time. Pete Peters had started out. Crockett drives it in. Peters comes to the bench. Tim Kerr hops over the board. Cox drives the yank and along. It's not loose uh, by Hardy. But it's another one by Brian Crockett. Rolled along the pocket. Center's one. It's Crockett loose through to the tree. And able to hang on to it is Richter. Well, the Flyers get the face off and a chance to set up. And there could be a timeout coming to this. And maybe some penalty time. That is Tim Kerr. For the Flyers, it is Troy Millett for the Rangers. And Tim Kerr is a guy that you'd have to figure the Flyers would need out there. It looked as if he just started throwing punches at Troy Millett, number 26 of the Rangers. So you can say goodbye to Tim Kerr. You can also say goodbye to Troy Millett. But if I'm Paul Holmgren, I need Tim Kerr in the final 52 seconds of a one-goal hockey game. You won't have him now. Well, Millett sure has had a busy night. Yeah, he had an unsportsmanlike with Kartner. He had an instigation in a fight with Kartner. And now he gets involved with Kerr. Take a look at it. Right in front of the net, Brian Leach is pushing Tim Kerr. And as Richter smothers the puck, there's Tim Kerr, top right of your screen. What happens here? Does Millett come in to take him? Yeah. Everything looks like it's okay. Still okay? Not anymore, Monty. Boy, I'll tell you what. Tim Kerr threw him a four straight left that looked like they landed before Millette could even get going. Boy, it didn't look like that thing was brought on by Millette either, other than just by shoving. We well, talked about discipline, and both teams have shown problems in dealing with that, but now the Flyers must shift to thinking... Now they can get one here in the last 52 seconds without the benefit of their best sniper from out in front, Tim Kerr. As they mull all this over during a timeout. 30 second timeout called by the Flyers. Paul Holmgren is on the left. That is Andy Murray, dead center top of your screen, helping out. Roger Nielsen with Wayne Cashman nearby. Fans of hockey remember Wayne in his years with the Boston Bruins. Came in as a part of the Phil Esposito regime and has remained on to be a part of the new order in New York. Mike Richter, 52 seconds away if he can keep the Flyers off of authoring a win right in his hometown. Pete Peters put on a good performance tonight. As Bill mentioned, there were times when he caused the fans to be pretty scared out there, but basically had his angle game down well. Murray Craven will try to win the draw from Kissio. Sutter and Tockett, Sinisalo, Lotto and Murphy. Those are the six. Nyland is out, so also is Hardy, John Ogrodnik, and Patrick. Along with Kissio, the Rangers five in front of Richter. Ron Finn doesn't have them set up just legally yet. Encroachment by Ogrodnik and Sutter. They're ready. It's one back to Murphy. Shovels one that ricochet to the corner. Going to get it is Nyland. Dumps it, but right back into Lottle. Keeps it alive. Yuri Lottle rolls it off the corner board, but it's cut off by Kizio. Kizio looking for room. Sent it off Ogrodnik. Regathered by Murphy. Right across the center tunnel. 35 seconds to go. Richter stops this one along to Hardy. Lifts it along the board. Sinisalo pops it loose and it came to Tockett. Then to Craven and he tucks one through the crease from behind. Lottle a shot. That blocked back out by a sprawling Chris Nyland. 20 seconds to go. Around it comes now to Lottle. 
Tries to step by, can't shovel it through James Patrick, and it squips back. Murphy coming across as Kissio was coming by. He's able to knock it from him and Lottle. Gets it across to Craven in the last nine seconds. Craven stepped in two by Obrodnik. Back ahead now comes Mark Hardy. Dumps it back down, and the Rangers are going to win the game by a final score of four to three. And Mike Richter, 23 years of age, from Flowertown, Pennsylvania, came through Germantown Academy in the U.S.